Okay, whoops. I was supposed to press pause and I accidentally ended the video. So, uh, I'm going to be teaching you on electric because you can see the dots on the other one you can't see. Um, so it'll be easier to learn. Um, so let me play it again slowly if I don't mess up. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let's see if we can go through this. Um, yeah, well, uh, maybe might not send videos over a minute, but I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Um, the first thing is this B minor shape here, bar chord, on the seventh fret. No. Wait. Yeah, yeah, seventh fret. Yeah, seventh fret, seventh fret. Um, so you play that one. Wait. Yeah, yeah. So you'll be playing that. Hit. Play it again, and then you're gonna take off your pinky to play the next chord. So it's. And then I'm plucking the middle four strings all at once. I'm just taking off my pinky right there. And then after you take off your pinky and play that chord, then you're going to slide and bar the fifth fret and play the same four uh, strings that your fingers were on. So it'll be like that. So you're not hitting the bottom E. On this but after you bar after you hit that and you bar there um, you're gonna move your barring finger down so that it does cover the E and you're gonna move your your hands over that E string now so you will be plucking the E so after you pluck it the first time you'll do the next part of the song with the I think it's the bottom yeah. Bottom three, bottom four strings, it's up to you. Um, so yeah, after this, from the beginning, it's... And then after that hit, then you switch over to the bar in the bottom three. And you do that, that rhythm. And that's basically the whole phrase, so it's... Sorry. And there's two little hits at the end. And it's your, you put up, um, it's your two fingers on the 12th fret on the B and the G string. So that's the first hit. And you do a little vibrato on there. And then the next one is your first finger on the, uh, B string, 10th fret, and then G string, 11th fret. So this one is like, looks like this. So you're only using, so on this one you're using these two fingers right here, and then the other two you're using these two fingers. So. So then slowly. thing I did the last one is you just repeat the whole thing but instead of going to these double stops instead of doing that you do a little lick you just slide your third finger into the ninth fret on the what is this the a the fifth string whatever this is and you'll do so it's just um, ninth fret yeah ninth fret Seven, nine, seven. So you can figure it out. And then do rubato at the end of those. Both. So 
Yeah, so then together, all together. Yeah. The point of this is to be very, uh, almost like woodland, woodland energy. There's a little bit of like, not countryside, but more like greenery side. There's a little bit of like foresty. If you really have to accentuate one of the notes in here. Like when you hit, when you take off your pinky on that one, make sure you are hitting the Make sure the G string is ringing out. That's ringing out from your barred finger. Make sure that's in there because that gives it a very like grounded feel of like feeling connected to the earth. If you don't have it, then it just sounds very like high in the trebles. But if you have that, because that's the finger that's changing. 